Okay, everybody, welcome back to Forbidden Sky. Let's keep uh, being verboten. Okay, so it's Jen's turn. I did misspeak before because Jen can't place something here because uh, she can't make a copper line. So she's trying to decide, should she start building it over here? As soon as she does that, then this lightning rod is touching everything, and this is a hot line. And we'll probably get zapped if we stay on it. Although we do have a couple of Faraday cages in the area, so we could stay safe. Um, or Jen could go on ahead and do it like this. And then we both um, stay off of the grid. But then, how are, but then we're going to have to have a line run all the way. I mean, there's a short line here, and then we need a long line can't get that far. So we'd have to have something. Although, hey, Jen's got another lightning rod. Okay, yeah. So Jen is up. One, she's done that. Two, she's done this. Three, she will do this. And now we have all of our lightning rods, and this whole area is dangerous. And then four, she will run back to the Faraday cage and stay in safety. She is not worried about being zapped. But I'm left wondering, ah, I might get zapped now. I'm very likely to get zapped. But you know what? You, you got to take chances. It's going to happen sooner or later. So, and it doesn't matter. If lightning strikes now, this current will come to me. And, oh, no, it's just that one. The other ones don't. I, I, you know, so Jen's just gone on ahead and, and uh, put it all out there. Let's see what happens. Lightning strikes. Jen is safe. I am not. I have just taken my first hit. Don't worry. I'm a tough surveyor. I can, I can live. All right, so now it is my turn. All right, let's... Uh... All right. I'd like to, if I go one, two, three, because I can teleport over there, I could be safe. And if I did that, what would be the one action I do along the way so I don't get zapped again? I could get, say go one, two, three, four. Um, and now I'm safe. Although, actually, you know what? Hey, let's go on ahead and use the remote fuser. So I had one more action. This is add or remove a wire between two components, any two components on the platform. No, 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 no. Because that could be anywhere. I could be a real lifesaver. So one, two, three, four. I got one wire. I teleported over here to safety at the Faraday cage, joining Jen. And that's cool. Our circuit is continuing. And let's see what happens. Storm intensifies. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I should have been drawing two cards for a while now. Dang it. Ah! Shoot, shoot, shoot. I totally forgot. Hmm. I'm sure if you've been watching with the Klingon subtitles turned on, Paolo would have warned you about this. You know what? As a penalty for not actually having played correctly, let's say both Jen and I have taken another hit. Just arbitrarily. Ah! Alrighty. Storm intensifies. Uh, which means it's we're still drawn to, but oh my gosh. Should I just start all over? Nah, I'll live with it. Because, I mean, it doesn't matter. We've been playing really smart and been pretty safe the whole time. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I, I'm fine with it. We'll just both have taken an extra hit. And this is a special Storm Intensifies. It says, even though we should draw another one, stop drawing. Reshuffle and reset the deck. So, you know, we're kind of, we get to the point where the deck was low and we'd have an idea of what was going to be in our future. But all that just got thrown away because the deck just got reshuffled. All right. Sorry about that, folks. We should be drawing two. It is Jen's turn. She's going to start scouting. One. There's the capacitor she wanted. Two. Now, this I haven't mentioned. This protects you from being blown around by wind. It's a wind cage. Three. That's all she can have. Her. Right. She was hoping to find some more of this. Um, And she doesn't want to leave because of the Faraday cages. But four. She'll just go on ahead and move over here. So, because we do have to get this thing hooked up eventually. And we have to... Oh, I didn't think about that. We have to make a full circuit. So this circuit's going to be fine here. But this will connect here. We're going to have to have something to be a junction from here to here to here to here. So Jen's going to start heading over that way with a, with a plan in mind. Like she could do another lightning rod and do a long line between them or something like that. So Jen's moving, but she's still safe at the Faraday cage. We're drawing two high winds. Time to get blown south. Uh, Jen, we both started to get bone south. We both take one frayed knot. And we draw a second one. And we both get hit again. Ouch. And ouch. It's a good thing Jen can spend a turn um, defraying. Okay. So that was kind of dumb, leaving ourselves there. But say la vie. All right. So that was Jen's turn. My turn. I've got nothing either. Um, let's see here. You know what? 
I'm going to use the error meter right now. The error meter, draw six, see what they are, put them back in any order you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have total control. All righty. So we can make, oh, wow. All right. So this is pretty handy. Um, none of, the reset isn't here. So what do we want to do? Let's start with winds a changing. And do we want to deal with lightning? Or do we want to have to deal with the wind blowing us around? Because here's the deal. Uh, you know, we have to put these back. I'm just going to put them back face up so that we know because I don't like memory in games. And so that we can reorder this however we want so we can be totally safe. And I should think about this for a while. But since we're on Faraday cages, I'm just going to go with this. All right. So, cool. Now, I know this turn, all that's going to happen is winds changing. So I'm totally safe no matter where I go. I've got four actions. Let's start scouting. One. And a two, and a three, and a four. Wow! All right, that was my whole turn. Remember, I, I can hold four tiles. We did not all... I mean, there's a bunch of these. Where are they? Oh my gosh, wow. Well, that was it. Um, and, uh, although, wait, 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 wait. wait. Since I knew this was what I was going to do... Um, right, and I knew it was safe because uh, at the end of my turn, it's winds changing, because we saw that coming. And it's a lightning strike, and we're both safe because we're both in a Faraday cage. Okay, we know next turn, it's a double lightning strike. So I'm going to be safe. The wind's not going to push me. Jen just has to be... Or, you know what? I mean, Jen can afford to take a hit if, if we're worried about it. But anyway, it's Jen's turn. What is she going to do? Um, Let's see. We still need another big capacitor. I was thinking about doing it over here, but maybe we do it down there because Jen's got a couple of them. And we still need a small capacitor as well. All right, so I've got some small capacitors. All uh, right, so Jen will start out by um, going like this. Nope, can't, because there's no copper connection. Could go like this. That's legal. But then she's not setting these things up. All right, what about this one? Also not league. Also not useful. Ah! All right, well, Jen will just go on ahead and put this here. All right. Oh, still. All right. So there we go. So that's one. And we have an extra lightning rod that we don't need, but it'll help us bridge over there. One, two. And see, now here's the thing. If, if Jen tries to put something over here, she is going to get zapped. She knows it. But even though we draw two, she's only going to get hit once. And then we know on my turn, there's nothing but high wind. So she'll be safe. Because, well, no, because the high winds are just going to blow her back this way. So I think she'll 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 take one hit for the team and just keep building. So, so that was um, one, two, to move into position. Three. Ah! Shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot! Because this isn't legal. Darn it! Darn it! Ah! All right, if we'd gone like this, that might have been smarter. Yeah, I think... All right, so that was one, two, three... No, but again, I'm, 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 this, is, this is never going to work. Right. All righty. Well, let's go back to what I originally did then. One, two, three... And now she's safe from wind. Wind isn't going to blow her around, actually. Three and four. All right, so we have our second big capacitor here that'll reach. We have a small capacitor that'll reach over there. That looks good. One, two, three, four. And uh, it's the end of Jen's turn, and she is going to get zapped because, hey, what a surprise. Lightning strikes twice. I'm safe in my Faraday cage. Jen was not. Now, um, although, no, she does get hit twice. One for each card. Boom, boom. So Jen cannot afford to do that again, but she's safe now for a while. And uh, it's my turn. Right, so what am I going to do? Um, oh, things just got tougher. Alrighty. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Now might be a good time to use the to put myself in a position where the gravity hook will work because I know high winds are going to happen. Two high winds are going to happen this round. So if I deploy it, no matter what, I mean, Jen's safe from the winds, and no matter where I am, I will use the gravity hook so I will not get blown uh, out of into some place where I don't want to be. Alrighty. Hmm. So the real problem is, 
We need to find these, but I can't just say scout and throw one of these away. These have to get deployed. I have to place them. There's no good place to place them, though. Shoot. Because, I, I mean, I just want to move over here and build the correct things there. And I don't want to waste time walking over there. So I've got four actions. One, I'm going to teleport over here. Two, I am going to put this here just to get rid of it. Oh, and that gave me a gadget, which is a med kit. Up to four total health. Hooray! We're saved. Although, I want to get us together, so we'll both benefit from the healing. Alrighty. Two, three, and now I'm saved, although I'm totally disconnected from everything anyway, so I'm not worried. And four, just to get this out of the way. All right, so that I can start refilling my hand, because you can't just dump stuff. You have to put it into play. So one, two, three, four. Um, and before the turn is over, I will deploy the gravity hook. So I am locked into place. I don't need ropes, because hey, at the end of my turn, we're drawing two cards. High winds and high winds. Jen is safe in the wind cage. I'm safe from the gravity hook. Nobody got blown around. All right. And now we're back into undiscovered country. One, two, three, four, five, six. But let's take a quick count. How many of these are lightning? One, two, three, shoot. All right, so four of the six high winds have been drawn. So we're much more likely to draw lightning of the remaining. There, of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three of these are lightning. So um, we can't afford to take any chances. Uh, and Jen is up. Right? Yes, right. Jen says, you know what? Jen is, let's see, she's going to scout. Ah! No! Come on! This is ridiculous. But hey, it's a teleporter. So that was one, two, three, and four. Okay, Jen can teleport to me or I can teleport to her and use the med kit. We've almost made our other big capacitor. And, which, you know, it means we make the lines. Although, uh, the problem is, I didn't think about this now, we've got to find a piece of this that matches there so we can achieve both. I assume such a thing exists. Let's go ahead and take a look and then reshuffle. Um, because the rules, actually, interestingly, they suggest familiarize yourself with all the tiles. So that's one of them. That Oh, so this is what we need to find, because boom, that would be perfect. It was actually the next one coming up, but now it's going to get shuffled and we'll never see it again. Ouch. Oh my goodness. But we know the piece we need is out there. It's just a matter of finding it so that we can make that work. All righty. Ugh. <laughs> Okie doke. Yikes. So what did Jen do? I've, I've lost track. She scouted, um, put a thing out, three, she has one more, she'll scout again. And, okay, this we need to put over here or over here. We can't put it here because it'll mess up that capacitor. But Jen will worry about that later. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. She wasn't going to do this. She wasn't going to scout. She was going to come over to me. That was her fourth action, specifically because then, anytime I want, on her turn, before the next card gets drawn, I'm going to use the med kit. Up to four total, split it however we want. Let's see, Jen will get one, two, three, and I will get one. All right, so we are set, we are feeling fine. Now let's draw two unknown cards. Lightning strikes, we're totally uh, disconnected, we don't care, and... Lightning strikes, we don't care. There is no... It, all right, nice. One, two, three, four, five. There's only one lightning strike card left. So now we could probably risk uh, ending um, safely. All right, anyway. Oh, wait, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I'm sorry, lightning did strike because of this. Didn't matter, we were both in a Faraday cage. Totally fine, totally safe. It is my turn. And now... Right, okay. I, okay, what am I going to do? I've got four actions. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Okay, the circuit is continuing, and I'm risking getting zapped, but I have a high chance. I think I'm pretty, I'm feeling lucky that I'm not going to get zapped. Let's find out. Storm intensifies. Okay, everything just changed. We've gone up one, and... It's time to reshuffle the deck, and we don't draw a second time. So I took a gamble. It paid off. All righty. Nice. And it is Jen's turn. All right, and she is up here. She'd like to just stay there. All right, first of all, she's going to scout. 
Not the one we need. Not the one we need, but still one we could put there. Oh, also, we need to get something down here because we still need our third small capacitor. So, um, bippity 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 bip bop. Yeah, that's what we got to do. All right. So that's one, two. Oh, baby. Okay. <sighs> Three, four. Jen is not worried about getting these apps. She's completely separated from everything. Oops, I've gotten us mixed up. That was Jen. That was me. I, I, right? All right. So she's safe unless there's wind, but Jen can always heal herself. Oh my gosh. I healed the wrong things. I healed Jen's rope. One, two, three. I meant to heal one, two, three over there. Oh man. I totally, did I heal myself correctly? I think I healed myself correctly or no, my goodness. Ah, I've lost track of what I did there, folks, when I healed. I did the rope. I'm sure if you were watching with Cleon subtitles turned on, you saw that I made that mistake. But you know what? I've really got myself discombobulated now. And uh, it is hard talking to you and walking through all my... And I don't know where I am. And I don't know what these were supposed to be. And so, ah... You know what, folks? You get the idea. I had actually thought I was going to play all the way through here. But the longer I go, the more scatterbrained I'm going to get. But you can see what I'm going for. We need to find the last piece. We need, you know, and once we get this piece here and this piece here, and where is the last piece? Didn't find it. Didn't find it. F found it. This piece here. Once we get those found, we have our other big capacitor and um, we have everything we need. We just have to spend the time going around. And that's when I use my remote fuser to get rid of the, to do the toughest one to make the rest of these. As soon as this came up, that's when this is here and the lovely rocket is here. And we'd have to be moving around, trying to stay one step ahead of getting zapped, trying not to get blown off and trying to get the rest of this stuff wired up. And as you can see, I think this will work. There we go, bippity bop. And oh, it looks like we need a longer one here, a bippity bop. And, um, you know, we say there is a bippity bop here. So we had that one connected. So we've almost got the whole thing sprung. Now, when you get to this point, if you haven't died from getting blown away by the wind or from you know, getting electrified, if all players are on one of the four active spaces and your last action is to do the last one and make the last connection, then you win. Um, and this has happened almost every single time. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, the circuit is complete. We have got, we have the two big capacitors, the three, no. Ah, this is wrong anyway. We, remember, we need to put a little capacitor over here so that we need to make a small and a small and then a long. Because that would have been the little capacitor. Um, but once you do make the circuit and it's all legit and legal, there isn't actually a circuit. There is a battery in this. It's supposed to be going off, but it's going to turn out that one of these is a little off. And so you have to kind of jostle them a bit. This is kind of always so... Um, anticlimactic. Hey, guy, are you going to work? Oh, come on. There we put it in. You see there's little magnets on the bottom of this. Yeah, without fail, every single time I've tried to do this, we know, we, you know, this would be a case where we'd won, and we've made the circuit, and there should be a power going between all of these, and if I jostled them enough, I'd probably get it to where it makes the connection properly. I'm not sure what it is. Or heck, maybe the battery's dead. Although, it should be a brand new battery. But folks, oh my gosh. Things started out so well, but I've definitely gone off the rail. This is an example of a win. Just very unsatisfying. Come on, Rocket. There it goes! And then you go like this. And you say you won. All right, so these two were not quite aligned as well as they should be. Ah, uh, it's always kind of a bummer when that happens. But see, now it's all fine. When you put, yeah, you know, when you put that last one in and it goes, it's a great ending. We just have to get better at uh, connecting these things. But folks, I'm going to stop right there. This was an aborted run through of Forbidden Sky because I got myself so confused. Apologies to Paula. I'm sure he was. Uh, shouting. Probably made a few more goofs here and there. Always turn on the Klingon subtitles, folks, but still, that should give you a pretty good idea of life in the Forbidden Sky. If you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.